Let's talk about the five keys to confident communication. Number one is bringing your body to life. So, in my opinion and in my experience in the 26 years that I've been teaching, the biggest problem that I see with people being free with their communication is they're tight in their bodies. How many of you think that the body and the mind are connected? Yeah, it's all connected. So part of the reason a lot of times we don't feel comfortable to flow, and this is, this is when you see this, you see this in um, when, you know, I have a background in singing, of course, and acting and all kinds of other things, but it's very clear to see this when you go to sing a song because there's a lot of tension that comes up in the body. So, and because we sit down all the time, and how many people work on computers? How many use computers almost every day? Yeah? How many people don't ever touch a computer? <laughs> Thank you. That's what I thought. So, great. How many would never raise their hand no matter what I ask you? <laughs> But, um, <laughs> but the problem is we sit down so much and when you get up, one of the worst things that you can ever do if you're ever asked to speak is sit down until you're ready to speak. You notice, for those of you who came early, I was on my feet the whole time. I was getting to know you and I was walking around. You cannot go from a place of high energy or to, to a place of peak performance from sitting down. So we need to get the body moving. So can we get the body moving? Is it okay? Yes. Now I'm, let's uh, spread out. So you can just, uh, I'm gonna, let's do some physical exercises together. So I want you to get away from the, the table. So just spread out wherever you can. And see if you can, and ladies, if you have high heels on, you can take your shoes off. I'm gonna take mine off. Okay. So the easiest and fastest way for those of you who are N at NAC with me and, and for those of you who uh, may have visited my website or heard me speak before, the easiest and fastest way to release tension is I'll demonstrate. I, I guess I should have done it when you were sitting down. I There's no stage. But anyway, I think you can listen and see. The easiest and fastest way is to do something that I call shaking it out. Okay? And some people don't want to use their voice when they do it. I like to use my voice when I do it, and it goes like this. Like that. Okay? You ready to try it? <laughs> okay, so get some room. If you want to make noise, you can. If you want to do it silently, that's okay. I'm going to make noise, all right? Okay, you ready? This is an exercise, okay? So we're going to shake it out together. One, two, three, go! that I teach stories. That's one. It's, it's one of the quickest and easiest ways uh, to be able to do it. But you know, you're already different as a result of just shaking it out and moving around for, what, two minutes, maybe? And we just don't do that anymore. When we're kids, we do it all day long. And what happens is you have unlimited energy. And when the kids go to sleep at night, they just crash, right? 
It's like, wah, 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 100%, 100%, crash, right? And that's really good, but we don't do that. And then when we get up to speak about something, if you're going to present or, or share your ideas or things, we don't have any energy and we wonder why. So it's a huge tip. Was that useful for you? Just shake it out. If you have no time for anything else to do before you present, before you just shake it out, just go someplace private and shake it out. And during the day, it's the same thing. If you, you know, you're in front of the PC or, you know, stuff comes in or you get an email that pisses you off, just go shake it out. <laughs> just shake it off. Just literally shake it off yourself.